everyone today we are going to learn the difference between continuous variable and discrete variable i am going to tell you the very important differences the basic differences between the two types of variable so that you can easily identify whenever you are given with the different variables and you will be asked to uh, separate or to identify which variable is continuous and which is discrete so let's start with the first difference first difference is about its definition so a continuous variable is a variable that takes on uncountably infinite set of values now what does it mean uncountable as its name indicates that anything that is uh, hard to count or that is infinite or uh, uh, that have a range of values that is very impossible to count uncountably infinite means you don't know the end there are so many values in that range that is hard for you to count the number of values that th that the that a variable has taken so in continuous variable you cannot list all the values that has been taken by a certain variable so this is the definition of continuous variable when it comes to the discrete variable how it differs from the continuous variable so a discrete variable is a variable that can take countably finite or infinite set of values so it's very uh, confusing for most of the people that what is discrete variable sometimes it is called countable sometimes it is called uncountable so what does it mean so the main uh, uh, main idea behind it is a discrete variable can take value that is that can take values that are countably finite as well as that are countably infinite it is not necessary that the discrete variable should have the finite finite values no it a discrete variable can have the, the infinite values but those values should be countable Un, not, unlike continuous variable in continuous variable we are unable to count the values but in discrete variable we can count the variable but it can uh, the the counting can goes to uh, can goes to infinity so this is how they differ from each other it means we cannot list the values of continuous variable because they are so many that it's hard for us to list them while discrete va variable values can be listed can be counted uh, or um, they can be uh, counted finitely or they can be considered as infinite but if even if they are infinite you can count we can we will see later the example so you it will be easier for you to understand their difference the next difference is in continuous variable we do have the decimal or fractional values now it means if you have the range of values one thing is very important that in continuous variable you have a range of values so in range we can have for example if i write here we can have 2 we can have 2.1 we can have 2.11 we can have 2.112 and so on it means we do have the decimal values in continuous variable while in discrete variables while in discrete variable we do not have the decimal values we have the uh, the uh, we have the uh, non negative integers in the discrete variables we have a definite value of the uh, of a variable in which there is no intermediate values included for example we do we will we may have the value 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 but no values in between we cannot have 1.1 1.5 1.6 like values it means we have, do not have the decimal values in the discrete variable this is the major difference between the two that um, as their name as well indicates that a continuous variable is taking the continuous values that are intermediate values as well while discrete variables do not so and the next difference between the two is the continuous variable is usually measured using some scale we will take the example in our next point and it will then you will understand it better that how the continuous variable value is measured we cannot count the value of the continuous variable because there is a range of infinite well, number of uh, uh, possible values in the range that it becomes impossible for us to count that infinite range so we have to measure the values in the continuous variable while in case of discrete variable so we can count the discrete variable values because it's finite 
or if not finite we have the option that we can count even if it is infinite that we can we cannot uh, say that there are so many values that are uh, that that are hard to count discrete vari the values that discrete variable is taking are basically countable so we we usually count the discrete variable values and measure the continuous variable values let's have some examples for our further understanding so the examples of continuous variables are height speed and uh, speed temperature or so on so all these variables needs to be measured we cannot count the value of these variables we usually don't say that count the height of someone we usually don't say count the speed of someone or count the temperature we usually say measure the height measure the speed measure the temperature so now your third point will be clear that value of a continuous variable is measured so in case of height we can say the height of a person can be in decimal or it cannot be in the decimal it can take a range of values of different uh, of different person height can be you can say if it we take it in inches it could be 54 it could be 56.6 so it means it can take on the infinite values it can take on the decimal value it and it is usually measured then we have the speed similarly we can have the decimal value in the speed and it also have the range or it also vary uh, um, with infinite number of possible values so speed can be 100 km per hour it could be 100.2 km per hour and so on same is for the temperature like 40 degree 40 degree fahrenheit or 40.2 degree fahrenheit and so on so these are the examples of the continuous variable while in case of discrete variable it variable include size of family number of employees number of phones number of stars in space so the important thing here is in all these cases size of the family could be could be 4 it could be 5 and so on and it all these are uh, other definite discrete numbers you cannot say the size of a family of a certain person is 4.5 4.2 6.2 it means you are counting the number of uh, of the family numbers rather than you are measuring the number of family family members as in case of continuous variable so this is how you can differentiate easily between the two types of variables then we have the number of employees number of employees similarly it can be 50 it can be 500 it can be 600 but it can never be like 600 it can never be like 600.5 so this is okay this is okay but this is not in discrete variable decimal value is not allowed and it is also not possible generally if you say that the, the, that how many number of employees are in the certain company you never say that there are 600.5 employees in that company so this is not so similarly the number of phones can be can be uh, similarly in a um, in a way that it can be if they are countable and they they can have the a finite or uh, uh, set of values then we have the number of stars in space this is a very important now sometimes we get confused that number of stars in space how it could be discrete variable so it is satisfying both the conditions of of the discrete variable so the number of stars are is satisfying the both the condition of a discrete variable one are the count is the countable condition that is it is countable number of stars you can count they are countable and it could be finite or it could be infinite but in this case we have the infinite set of values so number of stars is discrete variable because the stars are countable you cannot say that the stars are 2.5 stars or 3.5 star you said two stars three stars four stars so you can count the stars but if they are infinite so it's still okay it's a discrete variable so number of stars is a in space is a discrete variable and uh, it is not necessary for the discrete variable to be finite it could be infinite but it should be countable on on uh, besides that so you cannot say that if something is infinite is a discrete variable but if it is infinite it should be countable as well but if it is not countable it is continuous variable let's see the graphs of both the variables so here is the graph of a continuous variable that is height in its uh, in inches one important thing of a continuous variable graph is you usually see that it's a histogram 
in histogram you will not see the distance between the bars like this the distance between this bar and this bar is zero like they are uh, exactly attached to each other so this is a histogram histogram usually represent the continuous variable here you can easily see the range the 46 to 52 so there are multiple values in the range in which the the, uh, the height of different students fall similarly the range of 52 to 58 then 58 to 64 it means it will also include the decimal values so this is the graph of the continuous variable but when it comes to the discrete variable let's see how it looks like let's see how it looks like so this is the graph of discrete variable now it is clearly showing the discrete values the distinct values at and and are represented by their own bars now there is a distance between the bars in discrete variable there is no connection between the points while in continuous variable graph there is a connection of the points because there are a range of values that are interrelated while in discrete variable there is no connection between the points there is no connection between the apple sold in january with the apple sold in february so in january you can say the apple sold were 100 in january they were 300 and in march they were 270 so these are the discrete values that are yeah you can easily say that you can you say that uh, the apple sold in january are 100.5 no so apple sold in january are 100 so these this is a discrete value they are not uh, in decimal or they we are not measuring the values we are counting we are counting the apples so apples uh, is a uh, apple sold is a discrete variable here and it is represented in the graph by this by the separate bars rather than the bars are connected to each other so this is how they differ from each other and these are the basic differences between the continuous and discrete variable hope so it will help you help you out so that's all from today's lecture thank you